Now these are some of the shocks that I've been uh, working on and I did the same thing for the Trek, which is that model that you see in the back here. You know, I show that in another video, but you know, it's kind of hidden right now from, from you, but let me just bring this up. You can see the same, the same shocks are right there. Okay, so this is how we make the shocks for the rear section of this scale Tanarg. So this actually is turning out to be about seven inches in length and the, at the scale that I'm working on. And so what I have done is I've created all these parts that you see here. I've already done the join for all of them. And this is just a quick sketch. Eventually from here I go to the computer and I input all these numbers here and then I create a uh, real drawing, you know, working drawing that I can uh, use for duplicating this in the f near future if I need to duplicate these. You know, I'll work from the uh, computer drawing that will be cleaned up and uh, uh, more precise. But basically this is what it is right now in drawing form. So here are the uh, shocks. Basically, you know, they, they have to look good, they have to work. As I mentioned earlier, you know, they have to take quite a bit of a, an abuse, you know, for radio control applications. They have to be consistent, they have to be repeatable. Okay, so I decided to uh, make the suspension for the front end here. Very similar to the way I did the rear shocks, but these are smaller. And they're quite beefy. So this is looking really nice. Uh, these brackets are not uh, brackets for these guys here. These are just brackets, uh, extra brackets that I had for this section here. So I ended up putting it there just to just to get an idea. But basically, you know, that's how that's going to work. There's about 10 pounds of pressure. Needs a little oil there to remove that noise. But I remove all the bands here that previously was acting as my shock mechanism or spring mechanism now I have real shocks that are doing the work here so the next thing to do is to um, go on my computer and uh, design these parts here I'm gonna have to uh, redesign this part right here and redesign this part right here so that it has provisions for the um, mounting of this uh, shocks at the top and also at the bottom it'll be very similar to the to the uh, to the real one, but of course it's got, you know, it's much uh, stronger for radio control application. And this is where I'm at. Next video will be about um, the final installation of this setup here. And I'm going to go ahead and begin the uh, control bar assembly. That'll also be, you know, aluminum parts that'll have uh, their own brackets and ends to make up the triangular bar. So once again, this is Mario with me on Flight. Stay tuned for more.